I have a lot of other interests besides civil engineering. Uh, one of them was volleyball, and I refereed uh, high school and club volleyball for about 10 years. And that was fun. I liked that, but I've always loved to cook in the background. And cooking went from having to make meals at home every day to learning a little bit more at Dorothy Lane in their culinary center and actually going to culinary school. I wasn't sure how you went at 50 years old and never worked in a restaurant before to getting a job. I kind of stumbled into this thing. I really tried to focus on just techniques. So not learn 10 recipes or 20 recipes or 30 recipes, but learn four or five techniques of cooking. And once you do that, you can apply that to anything. So it was all about understanding, you know, as an engineer, I like to understand everything I'm doing. Uh, I don't like to say, this is just the way we do it because I wanted to understand. And that's the way, I think I kind of applied that same mentality to cooking. I wanted to understand why, and the more I really tried to focus on techniques and, and how things broke down that way, the more I became more consistent and it kind of frees you up. I forget what the question was. <laughs> So one of the classes that I was really the most looking forward to was called Artisan Breads. And I took that class last fall and I, I, I wanted to love it. It left me kind of a little bit wanting to, to, to do more. And a friend of mine who uh, both graduated from the Culinary Institute of America, they both worked at Brashan, which is a Michelin star restaurant out in California. They both ran fine dining restaurants and they were looking for a baker. And I was just finishing up my baking class and dying to find a better way to learn how to bake more. But I said, you know, I might want to do this. But I said, part of it is I want to learn, you know, I want you to teach me. You know, I want you to know I don't really know enough, I think, to have this job. And she's like, not a problem, we'll teach you. So that's basically what the last February, March, April, May, four months have been me learning in my opinion, how to be a baker and how to make bread. And this is what I wanted that class to be. So this has now turned into a full-time job, but I don't know how you would learn how to be a baker if you weren't working full-time. So yes, experience is a lot to, for making this kind of bread every day. I, so I think working for them and they're constantly teaching me and constantly helping me and we work together on stuff. When we came up with the new hoagie rolls, I was part of the process and I really you know, love that. So I think they are as much a part of me enjoying this and really being excited about it. So I don't think I'll leave there. I mean, if somebody could offer me, honestly, if somebody came in and offered me double the money, I probably wouldn't leave because I'm not really doing this for the money. I'm doing it for the experience and because I love it. And I like working with them. So I